Hi everyone. So Google just released their Ultra LLM model and I'm going to put it to the test against ChatGPT. They are saying that this can beat GPT-4 in a lot of things. But we are not going to take their word for them. We are actually going to judge if Gemini is actually good. Let's get started. So I'm going to just shoot them off to the races by a very simple task, which is writing a cold email about my AI automation agency. I've not given them any details. I've just told it a very simple that to start with it, the task. Now we can see like the response for Gemini is pretty quick. It's already completed the response in like 15, 17 seconds, right? That's crazy. In 17 seconds, they were actually completed with it. And ChatGPT still seems to be going on. Okay. So let's come to this. Okay. And let's see how the response is until ChatGPT completes this. Look at this one. Now, pain point emphasis, it has given me a couple of options to choose from. And that is good and bad both because I just asked it to write one email, not three different options. But it has probably the prompt engineering that they have done on how it should work is a bit different. And the email looks decent, but like, you know, very simply, like it's very short email. Like if you look at it, the pretty short email compared to what a cold email would be like, you know, depends on like, if you know someone, you can probably send this if they know you through something probably. But if you're sending a very broad range of cold email, you would probably like to get more open rates. And if someone opens it, you should want to give it full services, right? Okay. So into roughly one minute, eight seconds for ChatGPT to get a response, but the response is much better quality. The quality wise, 110%, this goes to GPT-4. And this response on specifically this part of writing an email, I don't think I would use what was given by Gemini. Okay, let's get to the next, next task where we are going to make them code a complete web page. Let's see. Okay, so this is a very simple task that I've written here. I've started with a brand new chart so that there is no calibration issues here. Very simply, let's look at this. Okay, so I've told them, create a landing page using just HTML for a personal portfolio website. Write the complete code, which I can run immediately. Now, as a prompt, it sucks, but I actually want to see on a sucking prompt, how do they do? Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, and we're off to the races. And let's see how much time it takes, right? Like the first thing is like how much time it takes for them to write code that will actually determine a lot. And I'm going to show you how the web pages look so that we can actually judge them based on the code that they're writing rather than just, uh, okay. Gemini is again pretty fast, like 40 seconds. And they're giving me still instructions. So let them complete it and then we count, but really, really fast. Awesome. That's like, that's like, that was done in 20 seconds. ChatGPT is still going on. But I still see like a bit more code being written, but I'll not judge it until I actually run the code. But one thing like clearly off the gate, Google has nailed the speed with this model. So the quality is not great in the first task that we did, but let's see. So your name, web developer, you have a section. Okay. Let's see what we get actually, right? And it has given me instructions. So what I can do is I can start setting up this up and running this. So I'll just copy this. I'm just going to put the note card. Tab, let me open that, create a new part. You won't be able to see my screen right now because I still want you to see what's going on in the front. I right, can file it, save us, and then just write it, save us. Both so in your HTML, right? And the point is, I just want to like actually follow the instructions, what they have written. I had a background image and everything. I did not ask it to do that. But let's see what it actually turns up to be, right? So I'm going to open this. One second, I'm going to open the central. Okay, so ChatGPT has completed its response. It took one minute, 30 seconds. I'm going to show you both the comparisons together. Let's see. And I'm not editing any code here. Like literally not editing any code. I'm just going to run it as it is, right? That's it. We have another code. I'm going to save this as test ChatGPT.html, right? And I'm going to show you both the files together. Okay. Let's open this. Let's see how they look. And I think this is going to be a good test because both of these things are pretty important. Like how good you are at writing code. Okay. So this is Google's uh, barred example of what the, the portfolio looks like. And this is ChatGPT on the left hand side. Okay. Okay. This one clearly, clearly goes to Google. Like just off the bat without any editing. This looks so much better. Like really this looks so much better if you look at it. And this was done 14 seconds and just the speed and the quality of code that it has been created. Again, much better. Like I would choose this version over that version in time. 
Okay, awesome. I'm actually awestruck also at the same time, but really, really good. So this one goes to Google. So the score is one is to one. Let's go to the next task. Okay, so the next task is going to be about creating an image. And given that Google has claimed like it's a multi-modal model and everything, I'm super excited to see how it works. Okay, so let's see in three, two, one. How does it work? I've started Google first this time. Let's see, we are off to the races again. And I'm super excited to see how the image actually comes up to be, right? Because, and I've not tweaked anything, not put any specific prompt. It's not Dali, it's a simple prompt, right? Create an image of a kid riding a unicorn in Disney Pixar style. Awesome, okay. Still, like, speed is mind-blowing. 16 seconds, 17 seconds. Face is a bit distorted, does not look like a kid. This is still better, but I mean, the faces are not great. Let's see. And it created two options. Oh my God, okay. I'll be honest, okay, guys. Like, between both these comparisons, this one is Google and this one is ChatGPT. I 110 prefer the ChatGPT one a bit more better, right? And I think the, it also took a bit more time. I actually forgot about the lapse of time around 30 seconds. But compared to the quality, like, obviously, like, you know, depends on the variation, what you like and what are you looking for, but it completely depends on you. I think I would like to test this one more time with another image, okay? So let's see. Create another image, just a unicorn, right? And let's see how does that look like, because... That would be a real test of how the unicorn looks like and what it is. Let's see, we need to start again. Couple of seconds here, okay. So, because I think the, let's see, does it pick up the unicorn from the same image? Does it create another image with the unicorn? Pretty interesting, like just to see how far we have come. Again, 14 seconds, the image is ready. And this one, okay, ChatGPT also did it in 20 seconds. Amazing. Okay, guys. By far, GPT wins this one. Like, look at the unicorn. It actually looks like a unicorn. What the hell is this? And why does the unicorn look like a pig? Like, really, really, like, option. Like, I mean, there is an option to generate more and it's pretty fast, but this is great, but honestly, it looks horrible. Like, Dali wins this round also. Because again, you have to see a couple of variations in the images. Oh my God. I don't know why does this look like a horse. Okay, it's horrible. Okay, this round again goes to charge GPT. We are two is to one. We are just have two more tests left. Let's see how they go. Awesome. So right now, ChatGPT is ahead. I have another task that it can try. So I want them to browse the web, right? Because they both claim that they have browsing capabilities. I've used ChatGPT before. Let's see Ultra. We're off to the races. So the question is very simple. Browse the web. Find out five active trends on social media, which I can create content for on my Instagram page. Now, if you saw ChatGPT actually went online and found something with sources. Let's see what Ultra is doing. Again, Ultra is super fast. Like I can say that, like I can see that the quality of content is not super great, but like very simply, it's just simply going. Okay, let's see. We are going to ask it to, can you browse the web? Because it did not do it. It did not do it before, right? Let's see. Awesome. So charging is still going on, right? And it... Okay. Okay, I think I think this result is very clear. ChatGPT actually went online in the first shot and took some details, but I can't still make Gemini go online. Fine. Okay, so I'm going to try one more thing here to get an accurate result if it's the feature or if the prompt is wrong or something. Okay, great. Or well, let's see how this performs, right? Because the point is, I want to see if it can actually browse the web or not. Like, and I have not tested, I've not checked what advanced can right now do. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Short form video dominance, authenticity. Okay, so now it has gone and found something detailed. So probably like the dif difference between the prompt, but you know, just like the quality of prompt, like very simply, I said, browse the web and tell me. Like, I, I think that was pretty clear and ChatGPT did that. So, I don't know, I'll give it, I'll give half the points to both of them. So, ChatGPT is still leading with two and a half points and one and a half points to G advance. But like, you know, the prompting is different. So, let's see. Okay, we have our final task on the hand. It's very simple. So, I have this NBA page written by the Ken and I'm going to ask it to summarize it, okay? So let's go ahead and get this done because summary is something that you will use GPTs a lot for. 
right? And we're just going to paste this article and I'm just going to write, summarize the article. Okay, let me paste, do the same here. Summarize the article, right? Let me reset the clock and we are, okay, we're going to off to the races. Awesome. So it's going to see how it can summarize. I actually also want to see how good Ultra is at summarizing because if the summarizing capabilities are faster, so obviously people would use Ultra for a lot of use cases because literally a lot of company, companies are just doing this. Okay, great, awesome. I've read this article, so I can see like, yeah, good, good points. Very good. I think the summary one is much better, right? Like the much better. Okay, so first of all, in speed, 110% again, uh, ultra one clearly like out of I was just reading them both through, and I think it's very clear that I would prefer the summary on the right. I would prefer the summary on the right, but if you look at it, I would prefer the summary on the left, given if I want to read, because this actually adds a bit more context, right? It's in bullets, but there is no context, right? So to give it a final fair view of who is actually better, I want to do this. Explain me this. Let's just do right ELI fight. So that is a shorthand for explain like I have five. Let's see what they come up with. And I'm going to test this also for okay. Let me right. I will look the center. Okay, let me see how this one goes because it seems super interesting. Like if you could just see. Okay, imagine you have two kinds of schools. Mm, okay. I would prefer the left hand one. I'll tell you why. Okay, very simply, if you look at it, it's still in bullets, right? So if I am saying, like, I explain, like, I'm five, I would like a story rather than a bullet point telling me what needs to do. It is configured like a like a story, but the, on the left hand side, you can see, like, it's much better. Just look at this. Lately, most students are choosing shorter classes because they think it's faster and they don't have the way from working far too long, right? This is Clearly great. I'm so, sorry, I forward to stop it, but 50 seconds for charge GPT, charge GPT is fairly slower. But at least, like, you know, I like this one better. So, okay. My final judgment of this is charge GPT wins by far. The browsing capabilities, the prompts are much easier to write. Ultra still has a long way to go. They are mentioning that it's Ultra 1.1.0. It's not the final version, but very clearly, guys, we have a result. It's charge GPT still prevailing. And I think Google has a lot of work to do. They haven't been able to prove how it's going to be used. Because again, you can, yes, write great prompts and get exactly the same results from both of them. But most of the users don't actually want to spend time writing amazing prompts. They will use a prompt library or they want to use something. They will just use where the prompt library works better with. And if it is GPT-4, they're going to choose that. With that, I come to the conclusion, GPT rocks. If you want to learn more, follow me and I'll see you in the next one. Please do share this video with your friends. It will really help me. Thank you and have a great day.